Good evening, good evening everybody, and welcome to my, oh it's Friday, Friday night stream tonight, not our usual Saturday, we're just doing a Friday one tonight, and so we shall start with our usual mailbox opening, and see where we're at, restock on all our enchants, restock on our cooking, wonder what kind of sales we're going to get tonight. Oh, we did buy a load of stuff. What's that? 10,000 in sales here. Let's pick up the buys. I bought a whole load of stonehide leather earlier um, this morning, which looks like... Is that going? Oh, I was outbid on that one. Oh, no, it is going. There we go. So I was outbid on these ones, unfortunately, that were... Uh, one silver. So let's uh, let's wait for a refresh on that one. Have a look. We could mail these ones that we did pick up though. Mail those to our demon hunter Urfan. So we'll use our mail selected groups, and that will automatically send all my stone hide leather to Urfan, my demon hunter, which is cool. And looking back on inbox, that's going to update. Three, two, one. And yes, there was more outbids here. I wonder if I can get rid of these somehow. Um, I think I might just open the mail anyway. What else have we got? The 10,000 here is haste, three hastes, rib roast, fighter chow, and a red linen vest. Well, that's quite expensive for the red linen vest. Is that one I make, or is that one I get from Dalaran? No, it must be one I make. Red linen vest. There we go. That cost me six gold to make. And I've sold it for 2,241 gold. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good profit. Happy with that. Right, okay, let's open up this mail and then see what else comes in the other batch. Oh, there were some sales here. Satchel, hex weave bag, labor Q ribs, critical strike and agility as well. Okay, I think I might have to open that and reopen it. There we go. Open all mail. There we go. Excellent, everything cleared now. So gold-wise, we're 654,000 gold. So not as high as we were before. Hey, Selfian, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the stream. So we're just looking at our gold from the last month. Oh, thank you, Aravio, Channing Live, and Jim Bobs for the follows. Very kind of you. How are you tonight, Selvian? I hope you're doing well. We're just looking at our gold at the moment, which we did get up to 800,000 here, but I've been buying loads of Chaos Crystals recently, as the price has been so good. So we've gone back down to about 600,000 gold. So 654 we are at the moment. But we do have 1,643 Chaos Crystals, which is... I haven't had that much Chaos Crystals for a long time. So that's definitely good. So with all the mailed... Hey, Drop Pencil, thanks for stopping by. How are you this fine evening? You're doing good, just working on getting professions up. Excellent, Selvian, that sounds like a good plan. The goblining is going really well here, thank you. My enchanting and tailoring and cooking have served me amazingly well over these past few months. I'd like to, next on my list, is to get my leather working and my demon hunter up a little bit. Perhaps I'll look at that later in the stream, once I've done my usual daily bits and pieces. So first and foremost, I'll look at my auctions. Has anything sold recently? Doing all right, just very cold these days. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It is a bit chilly, for sure. So we've got a load of stuff. Enchanting's amazing. 
they're cooking on your servers in the dumps. Oh, that's a shame. I know every server's um, different. Everyone has different economies, even with enchanting. There are some servers that don't have the same margins. But um, it's good that you found enchanting that um, is giving you some some gold at least. Now I think I'm going to cancel all these two hour ones now whilst they're here. So if I select that then I should be able to start at the top and just click my way down. It does kind of stop itself after a while. But at least that gets it going. And then I know I can get these back on because these enchants are the ones I really want to get on and undercut correctly, these ones here. So I'm going to go and just make sure that they're all done first. Um, and the satchels as well. It's a bit later in the night, so I might not get a whole load. I haven't done a Friday night for a while, so I don't know exactly know how busy it's going to be, whether people are going to be leveling or raiding or what people might be doing at this sort of time but the only way to find out is to keep at it right so all those have just been taken off so i'm going to go take those and put them back on this is going to fill my bags up completely though so let's see uh how it goes how am I liking TSM4? I'm loving it, uh, Selvian. It's really nice. Um, still a little bit buggy, obviously, because it's in beta still. Um, but the guys are doing a fantastic job of um, ironing out all the wrinkles. Um, it's missing a couple of features still that I would like. Um, the smart crafting I'd like. Um, but the way you can arrange the groups now is so much easier. Just being able to drag and drop things from one place to another means organizing your because groups is what tsm is all about so organizing your thoughts into groups is um is really nicely done in tsm4 that's how i like like to think its greatest strength is but yeah i definitely recommend it even even in the beta state i think it's um it's pretty strong right that's those done so I'm going to go pick up all of that lot. That's good to hear you spent way too much time uh, messing with the group setups. I know, I don't think um, I'm the same. I don't think I'll ever be done with my groups. I'll all be something that I'd want to, um, I want to tweak. Because um, I haven't really given it a good purge or a good look through for a long while, so... Yeah, it would be definitely um, something that's always being being worked on. And once you've invested the time in it, yeah, you wouldn't want to have to redo that all again. Immaculate Fibril is quite pricey. And we are at 13,500. I wonder if that will sell. Um, otherworldly bags at 899. That's quite cheap, actually from what I remember, and, oh, that's purple Marshall shirt. I was thinking that was a rich purple silk shirt. Just checking the prices of everything before I put it on. Um, looking for anything that might be a little bit skewy. Um, purple Marshall, silk with satchels at 772, that's okay. Yeah, I think these prices are mainly all right. I mean, the otherworldly bag, I think that's not great. But we'll put it on anyway, because it's still a profit. Uh, good evening, Deton Detonite. Sorry, I was going to put an extra T in there. Detonite, thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. There we go. We're just posting all our short auctions that we've cancelled. Now what we need to do is just double check TSM again so it registers those ones we've just put on. And then we can do our enchanting restocks first. So looking to my major sellers, 
restock selected groups. Only a few. Um, agility, critical strike, and three haste. We need to make some arcana though, so we'll kick off a lay shatter. Whilst I check the usual culprits for shopping, namely chaos crystals and silk, just in case there's any good bargains to be had. Price is at 339. My average purchase price is 331. There's a lot of singular ones here. So I think I'm actually going to leave it for now as I have such good stock. And it's nearing the weekend. Prices can go really up and down at the weekend, mainly up. So I'm going to leave those for now and see if I can pick up more during the week. Unless I find a good bargain. Now, silk and leather. Silk's been quite pricey of late. I haven't found much that's below six. There's a few here now, though. These are 550. What's my average purchase price? Five gold, 21. So these are a bit above my average. I've only got 2,400 left. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take a couple of these just to tick me over for a few. Because under six is still okay. I'm going to take the bigger stacks. That's it. Silk's been going up and supply's been low. Everyone's been trying to get into the bag market. Yes, definitely. Um, that's... Um, that's something I found, uh, Selvian, because um, my satchels have been selling really well, um, which is why the the demand for silk's gone up. Because um, you can at least make the the satchels in quantity as opposed to the hex weave bags um, aren't as easy to make um, a decent number of because of the cooldowns. But Stonehide Leather, on the flip side, I have been finding some for quite cheap. And normally it's been the other way around for me. So at least here, because I've got a leather worker as well as a tailor, I can do Stonehide Leather as an alternative to Silkweave Braces. So I'll pick up those. Okay, that should be enough lay shatters for now. So we'll swap back and make these. That's that, get our three rings done. And then we can at least put these on. Post those up straight away, I think. And then we need to check cooking. Cooking's the next, the next one. Get some good profits, hopefully, with those. So this is all at my current price, so I don't think we're being undercut on those. Doesn't seem like many people are on tonight. And shirts, I've set the maximum to one now, so those should be all right. I need to put these spares in the bank. Or I can open up these imperial silk cocoons. There we go. Right. So I only use leatherworking tailor gear for what shuffle. Um, yes, pretty much. Um, tailoring, I do do a fair amount of other things. I do... Let's, let's have a look at my group, actually. That's the better one to look at. Um, I'll close this one down and look at my tailoring groups. So basically, for tailoring... I've got Hexweave Bag, Hydral Expedition Bag, Otherworldly Bag, and Silkweave Satchel on restocks. Um, don't bother with the Silkweave Capes these days. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, GeoHep, for the uh, follow. Very kind of you. Hope I've got your name right. And then Pretty Clothes category is mainly... The ones that sell, I've got the shirts you buy, these are the ones I picked up from Dal Old Dalaran, and the shirts I make are all the different kinds of shirts, and I don't think I really bother with the spell threads these days. Um, and then the other ones that sell in here, where's the 
ignore, not random enchants, where's, where's just the parent items? I think I should be able to select this somewhere. Pretty close, you like that? Yeah, I do, I do like to name my group something uh, relevant. We've got the Mooncloth robe down here that I sell um, pretty well. Um, currently average sale price is 59990 New viewer on Twitch, you've been lurking on YouTube. Oh, well, welcome aboard to Twitch. Um, thank you ever so much um, for stopping by. It's nice nice to be able to reach people in both YouTube and Twitch, so uh, it's good to hear when someone's come from one to the other. Welcome on board. So, yeah, those are the main things that I sell. Mainly shirts, the old tuxedo bits and pieces, mooncloth robes, and the rest is all shirts. There's probably more I could do, and the same with leatherworking. Um, I need to start um, expanding on that a little. Um, things like the Drums of Fury, I'm going to look into with my Demon Hunter. But those are just basically mainly for the shuffle, for the braces, rank 3 braces on both of them, so that I can make my Arcana and my Ley Light. Oh, first sale of the night is a Mark of Hidden Satyr. Excellent. Right, so where was I? Cooking was where I was at next. So I need to restock on my cooking. And let's see, food, restock selected groups, that's quite a lot, 4,000 profit it's saying there. A mix of things, that's looking okay, so let's go gather and start gathering on those. Then we can turn on the intermediate crafts for those two and go visit our guild bank. So then we can just pick up all the ingredients we need in one foul swoop. Right, okay, gather items. It takes a little while, but it gets them. And then, ooh, what was that sale, I wonder? I'll check in a minute. There's a couple of sales just came in. Right, is that everything? There we go. That was two rings of mastery. Excellent. Okay, so we need to check our intermediate crafts for a Lebecue ribs and a Barracuda Murgla. Seems quite slow, the um, crafting window at the moment. Since the last update, I wonder if they've introduced something in there. The labor queue ribs, we need to add one to the queue. And Barracuda, add one to the queue. And then I can move this over to the side so I can see everything. Don't need the gather window anymore. Pop down a cooking fire. And then we can just run through everything. Using our chef's hat awesomeness. I'll just spin through all of this really quick. I'll use the mouse wheel as well just to make sure it goes through. It goes so fast my computer can't actually keep up with the lag on it. They just kind of disappear on the list. But it's excellent to see. There we go. Delicacy platters. Is that them all done yet? Yep, done. Wow, super fast. There we go. Okay, so that's cooking done. Whilst I'm here by the guild bank, Let's check tailoring, because usually if I'm making shirts, I'm going to need quite a few ingredients from the bank. So looking at tailoring, go and restock on these. So yeah, we've got a few shirts. The, other, the main one here that's the profit is the hex weave bag. So if I make that, the remaining profit, well, actually it's still decent, 1,300. For these three, there's the red linen vest that seemed to do well, wasn't it? We looked at the price of that. So we'll do another quick start gather. Any intermediate crafts? Yep, yeah, a couple of those. And then go back to gathering. And then we'll gather those items. And 
And then, is that, is that everything on? Yeah, there we go. And then, we can bring our tailoring back up. We need to make four bolts of linen cloth. So back to crafting, back to crafts. Linen cloth is down here somewhere. Linen bag, uh, those are all the bags I want. Cloths above that. There we are, bolt of linen cloth. Three, four, cue those, make those. And then that will do us enough for our shirt and vest and green workman shirt. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So that's tailoring done, that's cooking done. We just need to put those back on the auction house. And then we can check for some other bits and pieces shopping wise that we might have missed. See if we can get some good bargains for our cooking ingredients and for our miscellaneous bits and pieces. Post this lot on first. Oh, I forgot to put those shirts in the bank. The spare ones I had from old Dalaran. These ones that are saying maximum already posted. So we'll put these on at least. And done. I'll whack those on. Twenty-two. Okay. So what's our bags looking like? Yeah, just the shirts really we need to clear out. Okay. Um shopping. Let's run a shopping scan of all the good stuff. Leave that running. Have I ever done streams from other auction houses? Um, actually, no, I haven't. Um, pretty much, this has been my home, auction house-wise, um, for the most part. Although, saying that, I have gone from the old Dalaran auction house occasionally. When I used to do the cooking dailies in old Dalaran, sometimes I'd do some extra bits and pieces um, there whilst I was doing the dailies. But usually, yes, this Dwarven district in Stormwind is my, has been my home for, well, at least the last few months whilst I've been doing this streaming. So uh, I like it. And, I'm, you know, this server's not too laggy, so I find it's, uh, I find it's okay. And the, and the auctioneers only occasionally get killed here compared to the main area. So looking at this, I'm spotting a couple of bargains already. Wild Jade and King's Amber in particular look cheap compared to my normal purchase price of those. King's Amber, I've been purchasing for 66 gold. So this is four gold. So I'll take that, even if it's just one. Eternal Life is normally 37 gold, so I'll take that for 6 gold. There's more of it, so I'll take another one of 10. Um, what else have we got? Hypnotic Dust. I don't know if I actually have a lot of that, and I had been buying it for 20 gold. I imagine... Oh, Train Soldiers just sold. I imagine this is one of the ones because of the um, the change in classic enchanting that's changed and dropped. So I'm going to take. Get my, I haven't got much of this actually. So I'm going to take this. The five at twenty. Take all those, and I'm going to take the one. Oh, binding of agility is just sold. And I'm going to take the one of nineteen as well. There we are. Don't get me wrong, you love the Dwarven District auction house. It'd be interesting to hear thoughts on the other cities, but everything is not as convenient. Ah, um, now people have said the Shatrath one is really good because it's quiet. 
Um, obviously, the Shrine of the Seven Sisters is supposed to be good because you don't move around a lot. Um, but you park yourself in the Dwarven District as well. Less busy. Yes, I think I think so. Um, yeah, Shatrath is the best setup for. It's all in one room, isn't it? And you don't you can position yourself so you don't actually have to do a lot. What's well, critical strike and an intellect sold? Um, and then if you've got your garrison set up, you could always do it from there, and you won't get any phasing. Um, old Dalaran's quite nice if you want somewhere quiet. Um, that's definitely uh, worth it. Um, but you do have to jump down the stairs to get to the mailbox, which is a bit of a pain. Um, Wild Jade. Now, I've been buying that for 350 so I'm definitely going to buy that for 90 and you rarely get any of this. Wild Jade doesn't come up very often, so I'm going to definitely pick that up. Uh, Golden Pearls as well. They're, they're quite in short supply. So to get some for 30 gold, I'll take, definitely. This is, I think, basically people who are doing old world stuff now with the leveling. They're picking up some of these things, which means these things that I've been looking out for are cheaper. Righteous Orbs, Fell Cloth's a good one, so I need that for my Mooncloth robes. There's six there, I'll take them definitely. Um, large Brilliant Shards have been dropping in price loads. I've already got a 700 of those because I don't really need to stock up on those so much. Luminous Shard though, for 384 I might take. Take that one, there's another one. I might get some more of that eternal life, actually. As there's only one left. And then I'll take the luminous shards. And that leaves us with wool cloth. Which is pretty cheap. How much wool cloth is there? Is there any big stacks I can take? For cheaps. I'll take the 80. And the 33. Uh, 18, the 28, the 48, and all oh, there's 4 of 50 there, I'll take them as well. Just the kind of cheaper ones that are of a decent enough size. And I'll take the 12. I don't need a lot of this, I just need to just keep my averages down. And Frostweave, I don't think I've got a lot of. 690 odd. Again, it's relatively cheap so I'll take the 139 definite where's that gone oh someone must have bought it I'll take that and I'll take the 30 and I'll take the four lots of 20 I think that should do it and the rest can stay and um, what else have we got that's in the cheap righteous orb that's still cheap. I'll take that one. Oh, and we've sold... What was that? Oh, the hex weave bag's gone already. That's no surprise there. Oh, I need to do my daily cooldowns, actually. That reminds me. I'll do that once I've set up a shopping scan of the ingredients. Right, let's do that. Run a shopping scan of that, and whilst we're doing that... We'll open up our tailoring window. And what we want to do here is hex weave and imperial silk. The ones I'm currently working on. Where's my hex weave gone? Is that the. Not in antique, it's in Draenor. Here we go. Hex weave cloth. Craft that. Or have I already done it? I must have done it this morning. Yeah, I must have done. Okay, that means I must have done the Imperial one as well. Let's just double check. Uh, yeah, I think I have, because I haven't got any wind wool on me. Okay, so I must have done my... done my cooldowns on those. This is taking a little while. I wonder if that's phased out. Let's move over to another and run another shopping scan. That should hopefully... There we go.
Right, the usual shopping things here. Pick up anything that's cheap that I don't have a huge stock of. I've got loads, loads of lean shank. I don't think I need to get any more of that for a while. A couple of thousand fox flower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what's that? 1700 moss gill. Bacon's kind of been going down in price. My average purchase price is 69 gold now. I've got 646 of it though, so that's okay. Which is, ooh, rune scale koi we could do with. We've only got 82 of that. Ooh, there's 15 stacks of 200. So we definitely want to get those. My average purchase price of that has normally been 10 gold 98. So this is a good opportunity to stock up. Oh, thank you. Uh, Geoheb for the sub. That is extremely kind of you. Thank you ever so much. Let's get some Samadan heads into the chat for that. There we go. Thank you very much. That's extremely kind of you. Um, and uh, Natura says, don't I use TSM for my crafting cooldowns? I do in TSM 3, but in TSM 4 they haven't implemented it yet. So um, I have to do it manually, unfortunately. Um, which is room for error. So welcome, welcome uh, Geoheb for the uh, for the sub. That's extremely kind of you. Thank you for uh, for showing your support there. And to celebrate, we're going to buy a whole load of rune scale koi at cheap prices. So I'll take. Ooh, what should we get? I'm tempted to get at least, how much of that? Well, there are much better, 1,400. Take a couple more, sold an intellect just then, that's good. 1,800. You know what, I think I'm just gonna buy it all. All those stacks of 200. Because you never know when you'll get it cheaper. There we go. Ah, uh, you don't have TSM4 yet. Yeah, no problem, uh, Natura. It's uh, it's one of the things I am missing. Um, I would like it once they do implement it again. Because it's very useful. Alright, I'm not going to buy any more rune scale Koi. And I don't think I need to bother with anything higher than that. So let's go pick all that up. And... What have we got? Okay, loads of stuff we bought. Lots of rune scale koi, some odd bits and pieces, which would be good for our stocks. I need to just throw all this lot into the guild bank. Right, I'm going to leave the last eight and throw this lot in first. Because we need to do our shirts anyway. Um, right, so this is looks pretty full at the moment. Let's put some shirts in, and that's going to fill up this bag space on that one. Um, cooking, this is looking quite full already. Let's put some rune scale koi in here. And then the next tab here, I can put whole load in. That one there, that one there. Is that that one? Ooh. Seems to have dropped off the face there. Okay, let's pop that back in. And another one. Um, where else have you got some room? Um, actually, you could do with probably picking up some of this bear tartar. Let's do another row of that. See if we can put that back on the auction house. And we could do with getting rid of these because they're taking up space. Tailoring wise, we need to put on 
our wool cloth of which we've got loads need to just mix that together and then that together try and minimize some stacks put that one there and put that there condense that that's a bit better that should save a spot uh, that one can then go there and then fell cloth we've got some room for and then let's condense these up that together and then we can put the linen together okay uh, that could go there it's a bit like matching up the gaps there we go that's looking nice um, and then this has got a few bits like the golden pearl and the wild jade and the righteous orb. What else did I have? Oh, the other ones are in the mail, I think. I need to pick those up still. What's this? A luminous shard. Stick that over that side, I think. Oh, I've got that uh, pointy gnome. Thank you for the follow. Extremely kind of you. Have I tried farming the Dark Moon Rabbit? You sold two of them on your realm for 90k already, despite it being very easy to get. I haven't done anything with the Dark Moon Fair, uh, pointy gnome. Um, it's not something I've actually experimented with, but I'm assuming it's with the Dark Moon Fair. Um, is it still on at the moment? Oh, here it is. It ends. It ends tomorrow. Oh, okay. No, I haven't done anything with the Dark Moon Fair. But that's, uh, that's good you sold two for 90k. That's pretty good. So Dark Moon Rabbit. Let's have a look. Let's have a search. Dark Moon Rabbit. They seem to be going for 55k here. It is. Dark Moon Fair is still up for a day. The rabbit spawns in a cave and you use Group Finder to find a group for it. Ah, okay. Interesting one. Well, that's 50... That's the rare one. Okay. So what have we got? Um, so it's a pet. Okay. Region market value is 59 or you can get the epic one that sells for more. Ah, okay. That's an interesting one. The epic one is bind on use. Ah. So you could at least sell it. Ah, thank you, Adjuval, Adjuval73 for the follow. Very kind of you, thank you very much. Oh, I've got some things I need to pick up here. Let me get those back in the bank. I'm a little bit sluggish then. Right, that's done. Let's put those in the bank. And then we can do those last ones. Oh, there we go. Move that back. There we go. Uh, King's Amber. We had. What else did we have? Nothing else. Maybe it was just silk and bits and pieces by the looks of things. And a bit of a stone hide we need to pass on. And do that. Send that to Earthen. Right, off we go, down here. TSM groups, male selected groups, done. Right, so that's my auctions put on and the restocks done. So my next step would be to head up to Dalaran, do Nomi work orders and order hall missions and then check for world quests. It's the next thing in my routine.
All right, once this loads, hopefully it's not going to lag out too much for everybody. I probably will need to go to the guild bank to pick up some... Oh, I forgot to put on my bear tartare, actually. So I'm going to have to go back to an auction house the next time I'm there. Pop those on. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to pick up a load of lean shank. Three stacks should do it. Because I'll need those for know me work orders. I'm only using Lean Shank now because Lavish Suramar is kind of my last one. So I want to make sure I get that as cheaply as possible. Um, what's that? Slightly burnt food, prepared ingredients and some Lean Shank. Okay. So we'll go for just the regular. Let's turn that off. Um, lavish Serum our Feast uh, and create all. There we go. Next one's on me. You should get a chef's hat to wear whilst doing my streams. You mean like an actual real one to put on my head? That would be interesting. I did consider that at one point. <laughs> uh, what's that? Salt and pepper shank. Needed to be combined. Oh, they need to be swapped. Yes. Yeah, I could do that. I can have a look for some props to... Props to go with my stream. It's a good idea. Right. Um, and then we need to fly into our... There we go. go into our order hall and pick up all I don't know what missions I've got actually I can't remember what I did I think I did some reputation ones and what else did I do maybe a gold one I don't think it was anything particularly I don't think I've got anyone to pick up no from last time what do we have reputation gold and oh, insignia is there, that's a good one. So, looking at this, what's the 200s? Oh, there's a couple of golds for 200%. I'll take that one, and I'll take that one. And that leaves us with Argosian Reach Rep. Which all oh, we've got quarter for on this. Let's go for the Argusian one, even though it's one nine one. Because we do need that rep now. Okay. So that's done. Simple enough. We need to then head to the world quests. Let's see if there's any good bloods missions. And then we can pop to our garrison and top those up. The next thing I've got on my list is getting flying for Draenor. That's the next next big thing. Um, right, let's have a look at the map for Bloods and Bacon. Oh, there's an invasion on. Could be interesting. Oh, there's a 15 Bacon. We'll definitely take that. What's the two bloods? Murlocs. And this one is probably going to be useful. I'm not sure I'm going to do the actual invasion tonight, though. I think I might leave that off. I've got a good 12,000 nether shards and a good stock of chaos crystals. So um, I think I can afford to leave that for the moment, but I will pick up the four bloods. Flying for Wars of Draenor was a pain compared to Leiden. You did it a month ago. So worth it though. Yes, especially if I want to um, level some characters up um, all the way to 110, which I want to do so I can get my professions. So uh, I think I'm, I think I'm with you on that, Selvian. I just definitely want to uh, 
just want to chip away at it so that I can get everything sorted. Hey, Sephorium. How are you tonight? Thanks for stopping by. We've just done all our enchantings and restocks and shoppings. We're now off to pick up some bloods and some bacon. And then we're going to go over to the garrison. And then maybe try and get a bit more warlords of drain or flying. Alright, we'll just leave this for now. Just going to do the one bloods mission and then skedaddle out of here where is it? Oh, it's just over there, it's not too far and then we're gonna go yeah, do garrisons after this once we've gotten our bacon there you go, down here, how far away is it? Three, five, must be just down here somewhere. Which one is it? Oh, is this the coastal one? Oh, I remember this one. Right, yeah. There you go. Found a group, click the group, do some AoE, help people out. That. Oh, we need to do the Felwing Terrors as well. So I'll get those. Take those. Take that. Is there one up there? Out of range of that one. There we go, send these down. Quite easy, really. This one. There we go. And we'll leave that group. Close that down. And where's our bacon? Over here. Let's head on up. Valshara. Okay, straight on. Take a little flight north. We should be able to pick this up quite nicely. Hey, Alpha Test One, thanks for stopping by. How are you tonight? All right. <clears throat> Surma. Sure, there's one blood that's close, actually. Looking at that. Where was that? Wanted dread bog. I what that is. I think I've seen that one before. Doesn't it hurt eventually to sit at your computer with your current setup? <laughs> um Yes, it can. Um, I do actually find I, I do get a sore back through sitting on a normal chair for too long. So it's kind of a nice mix up for me to sit on the floor with a cushion. As long as I make sure I move enough and I focus on my posture, it's actually quite comfy. But yeah, the other the thing to make sure is you do you do need to make sure you take breaks and move around a bit. Right over here, where's the old bacon going to be? Seven, six hundred away. Let's move out a little bit. There we go. Right, where are you? Down here somewhere. Aha. There's the bear, the dead bear. Perhaps a skippy ball to work on the balance whilst gaming as well. What's a skippy ball? I've never heard one before. Is that like um, a physio ball? Like a large one you sit on? You probably wouldn't be able to get up if you sit like that for 30 minutes. <laughs> 
it does take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, big bouncy ball, yes. I think we call them um, call them physio balls here. Um, yeah, I think that would be good, but then it'll make me too high for my TV setup. So I'd have to change that as well. I'd have to lift, raise everything up. It could be interesting. Um, we're going to have a look at this other... Red bog. I don't know if it's actually inside anywhere, so I'm gonna go have a look at the one blood seeing as it's nearby. And then we'll head on up to the garrison. Do a little bit of uh, extra bloods. How many bloods have we got? 44. So decent enough. Use the cushion to lift your TV. Yeah, I think uh, balancing. A TV on a cushion might be a bit... Where do I need to go? Down here somewhere, I think. Dread bog. Anyone? Where are you, dread bog? Are you underneath? Maybe you're there. Oh, yes. There's the... Uh, Oops, no. Which is the corpse? Oh, there you are. There you go. Let's AOE these down first. And then we can do Dread Bog. Do that, do that. Got one of those Japanese floor seats with a backrest. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I could do, because I, tend, I do tend to lean forward a little. Like a true warden. So a one with a backrest might be quite interesting. Right, we're done here. So let's garrison Hearthstone. And then we can go check on our garrison. So all in all, quite a successful start to the evening. I think we've only been on, gosh, an, an hour's gone quickly already. Um, we've got our, our main bits done, got our restocks done, got our shopping done. I'm going to do our garrisons next, and then we can see about getting some more of this drain or flying sorted. Run through these missions as I can. It's bound to be useful, I think. It's like a chair without legs. Oh, that's, that does sound cool. Alright, we'll have that mission, definitely. For the work orders. Uh, what's this? Uh, Arakoa, maybe? It's a rare, so we might as well. Yeah, let's do it anyway. Right, any garrison resources ones? Take up that one and that one. What's that for? Shining lockbox. I don't have a rogue, so that's not going to be any good to me. Right, I'll leave the rest. Right, um, what do I need? There was a plan I need for the trading post for the rep, extra rep. I can't remember what I needed. Um, not storehouse. Where is it? There it is. Trading post. We need the achievement Savage Friends. What's the achievement? Where's the achievements? There we go. Savage Friends. Savage Friends earn exalted with one drain or reputation. Okay. So I need to get exalted with one of them. Which one am I closest to? Reputation. Also Draenor. Arakoa, I guess. I'm at Honoured. Okay. That's the one we need. 
up to Exalted first. That's going to be interesting then. Um, who have we got? Muradin. Okay, so let's pick up you're revered with Council of... Am I? Um, oh yes, revered's, revered's above it, isn't it? I looked, at, um, I looked at the bar and I saw the green that was further to the right and I thought, oh, that's probably not as good. Um, but it isn't, I've already got... It's honoured, revered, then exalted, isn't it? Okay, well spotted, pointy gnome. Thank you for that. So I'll put that on my experience bar. So how much do I need? Quite a lot still. Hmm. Wonder how I can get rep for them. Probably by carrying on with your storyline. Need to finish that off, definitely. Right, um, who did I... Ooh, some just first 40, I won't be buying it there for now. Let's head on over to my Gorgon fly traps. Harvest those. Do this. Do that. And do these ones. And I can pick up some hex weave as well once I've done this. Probably make do with making another bag. Then do the seeds, need to do those. This is one of the expansions that I really wish I could have skipped. Don't find it quite so easy. There are three areas in Shadowing Valley, Valley with 100 mobs that grant reputation when killed. So Socrithar's Rise to the south. There are several buffs in the area, such as Shadow Blade Oil, Distilled Essence, Gem Dust, Pillars of Fate, Border of the Spies of Arax. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Pointy No. So, oh, running on a fence. Grant. Reputation. There are several buffs in the area. Okay, so. Oh, no, just that's more work orders. How are you? There we go. See you around. So. Whereabouts are these? Um, Socrates Rise here. Down here. Okay, I've run through here, but I haven't done a lot here. Might be worth a little trip down there, I think. The bus probably to help with killing the mobs, but since you're a 110, it's probably not something I need. Absolutely. I think I might have to give this a little a little investigation. Um, let's go get my um, get my hex weave done first, and then I'll take a flight path over there, have a little look, see what that's all about. Right, uh, work orders is you. Pick those up. Do I have any rush work orders? No. Artifact power. Might as well do that whilst I'm here. I'll save these for when I've got. Um, I'll probably do with the Dark Moon Fair rep buff for that, but actually, as I'm a human, I'm just going to do it now. There we go. Right. And let's go have a look. So you can see here, I just haven't been in Nagrand at all yet. So I've still got loads to do. Really need to get through this. And this should be a good use of my time, because once I've got this, 
and then at least um, any future characters can just power through um, the Warlords of Draenor content with flying. So that's an achievement worth doing. What have we got there? We've we got a um, bonus objective there. That might give us extra extra rep as well, maybe. So we're looking for mainly the level 100 mobs here, I take it. I wonder where they are. Just You just flew uh, through Rewards of Draenor gathering treasures today. First time doing it, it was so fast. Yeah, I can imagine. Right. What have we got? Anyone here? And what you have? Well met. Archmage. Okay. The world quest gives you 500 rep with Council of Exarchs. Nine, 90 to 101, easy peasy. That's good to know. Yeah, I think I think flying's definitely going to be good. Right, so I guess we're just going to look for some mobs around here. These elementals, loads of these. That's oh, the Council of Exarchs. That's the one we want, isn't it? Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Well, there's loads of them around. Wow, that was cool. Loads of those. Ooh, I missed you out there. That was a big one. Right. A bit spread out. Could do with some bear tartar. Or something to help me here. It seems to be giving some good rep. These guys, certainly the bigger ones. Give rep. I don't know if it's worth. There are more demons and other mobs giving more rep out in the open. Oh, yep. I can see a load out here. I'm just going to keep running, you know. When you leave the woods part of the area and go to the city part. Okay. Where's the city part? These guys. Nightshade consorts. Oh yep, yeah, they seem to be quite good. Fives and sixes. Well, that's a nine, that one. Yep, yeah, load here. Oh, and got some good loot as well, actually. Oh, look, there's loads of them. It's quite dense. That's pretty awesome. Oh, you look big. That was at, what was that, 18 for that one. That was excellent, that one. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's go over to him. Go say hello. This guy. Ooh, sold some labor key ribs. I saw you in here. There you are. Loot you whilst I'm here. Get some golds. Yep, the rep seems to be going up quite nicely. Ooh. To you. And 
there. Oh, you're a bit more spread out, you guys. Well, there's two of you together, though. That's good. Oh, load over here. Ping those, ping those. The supercooling regulator is an item you can use for trading post auction house or sell it on the auction house. It sells quite well. Did I just pick one of those up? There's also a rare elite nearby, which is chance to give a pet once per day. Wow, excellent. Thank you, Kropata. It went for 5 to 10k back in Walls of Draenor. Wow, okay. So there's certainly some good things to have a look at around here. All these guys. Where's that treasure chest? Supply crate. Ooh, didn't do anything, I don't think. Right, let's get up to the top here. Do you guys? Loot you. Do you? There's loads of you around here. What's this for, I wonder? You bring news? Uh, you have the appearance of an ally but cannot speak long and wandering, working to infiltrate the ranks. Um, so far no one su suspects my identity. Oh, now. okay. It's been a long day. Good night all. Good night. That's night. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Spawn of Demidos or something. Can't remember the name correctly. Okay. Well, thank you, Kropato. That's going to be useful. I'll keep an eye out. Um, so I'll just AOE this lot down, I think. Run through. Try and get a few. Hasn't gone up massively. The rep, but it is going up quite easily. I wonder how much I'd have to run around here and do a circuit. I'm not the fastest. You know what, I think I might gonna eat some bear tartar. There we go. Increase run speed for a short time after killing an enemy. Alright, let's try that a bit better. Oh, that's better. Oh, now I see why people buy it. Oh, this is excellent. Why didn't I do this before? The elite's called Demidos and is a void walker. Okay. Hey, now this is now we're cooking with gas. Bear tartar all the way. I've never actually used it before. This is definitely the way forward. So I can just AOE these down whilst running around. Um, might as well loot you actually. There we go. Need to get a little circuit going or something. On. Do you, do you. I just want to keep following the people, really. Oh, there's another one of those demons. There you go. That was a crit and a half. Let's head on over here. Do you. I'm going to run up here. Do you. Oh, there's something here. What's that? Oh, 
That looks interesting. Brambling filly. There we go. Let's do a little... Where's my levitate? There we go. Then we can go here. It's gonna run around. Ooh. Sold a hungry magister. Two of them. Sorry, squirrels. Don't mean to hurt you as well. Anyway, I'm all certainly getting a load of rep for all this lot. Just kind of randomly running around, but it seems to be working. What's in here? Looks like there's a few in here. Lots of herbs. Oh, there's another one of those big demon things. Do a little circuit. You should loot everything also, but I probably highly want to be a wee epic drops. That's a good point. It kind of slows me down though. Um, and an eye patch. Okay. Well, let's uh, make sure I have a look. Especially the. What was that? Is that a quest? Begins a quest. You need the. You don't meet the requirements for that quest. Okay, I wonder what that was. Right. Uh, do you? Do you? Do you? Right. Where's the next lot of people? Where am I? I'm over there. Let's hop on the horse. Where's the next? Oh, they're over here. There is the load, wasn't there? Do you lot? Certainly. I need a um I could do with being a um a hunter or something to have a pet that does the looting for you. Probably not the best class to be doing this kind of thing. We are getting a decent amount of rep, actually, so that's at least good. What was that? Um, void wrapped sandals of the harmonious. I'll leave that for now. As far as I know, items that drop mailed to you. Uh, not sure if it happens with non-dungeon mobs. Oh, okay. Items not to mail to you. This one's done. Hello. Do that, do that, do you too. Getting lots of these Apexis crystals. It's only boss mobs and rares. Okay. I've seen some people do dungeon runs without looting and just emptying their mailbox afterwards. Okay. I'm certainly picking up a couple of things loot wise. I don't know if they're any good. I 
Or at least we're getting these Hypexis crystals. It's probably going to be useful for something. Doing okay ish, I think. I mean, the rep is going. Maybe it used to be that I'm running through dungeons doing world stuff without loot. It's all, always got new stuff from bosses. Okay. Right. I'm going to do a load of you guys. I don't know how much I want to do this. I think it's going to take me too long to go all the way just doing rep for this. But I'll do a few. Do you and this guy. And then there was one over the other side. Don't forget you. And then you lot you can do. And then I'll swing round to you. And to do you ones. Getting a few bits of the odd loot. Uh, better safe than sorry, obviously. Yeah. You never know. We're getting, we're getting some stuff. We're getting a bit of you know, silvers and coppers and things. And there's a few... There's a few greens that are popping up, which are interesting. I don't know what these supply crates are for, though. Have you tried farming the Dark Moon Rabbit? I guess I haven't done the Dark Moon Rabbit, have I? Do the eyeball, do those. Do you up here? I didn't go up here last time. Dropped off. Otherwise, we've been fishing there all week. Tell her about the rabbit. Yeah, definitely. You off. Good night. See you well. Um, kill you. Do you. Oh, this looks interesting. What's this? Demon gate. Level 102 demon. Okay. Do you and you. Okay, it dropped three times for you now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This guy needs to drop down. What's in the demon gate? Nothing by the looks of things. Well, we've gotten what's that? Four thousand and ninety-nine. So that's not too bad, really, for a bit of running around. I might see if I can do some other things now that I've done this a bit. I wonder what else we could do. We could do some more exploring. 
of the Spies of Arak. Um, and collecting some treasures there. So I know we haven't done the explore section. It's going to drop down here. And do you guys. And then work my way up. Where's that flight master? It's over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so in terms of exploration, there was a couple of places I didn't have discovered on here. Now where was it? it? Looks like that area might not be uncovered. What was the name of them? Let's have a look at my achievements. Um, exploration, Draenor, and Explore Spies of Arax. Oh no, we did. There we go. These are the ones we haven't got. Someone dumped a bunch of Trillium ore on the auction house. You just couldn't resist. <laughs> Excellent, Sephorium. You got you just gotta buy it. If it's cheap, you gotta buy it. So what do we need? The writhing mire. And where that is. Let's have a look on Let's bring up a window. The writhing Maya. Where is this on the map? Okay, looks like it's over that side. All right, let's go. Let's go for a little little wander. Um, Let's go across this side first. Gonna see if we can explore all of the spies of Arak. So the writhing mire looks like it's over on the left hand side down here. There's a load of treasure I haven't done as well, so need to explore that. in the wrong window there. There we go. So we want the writhing mire which is over there. We also want lost lost veil anzu. over the other side. Okay. <laughs> Would be, wouldn't it? And Vale Zek. Where's Vale Zek? Any of these maps show Vale Zek? Sure I've seen that. On the map, though, Valezek. Yeah, it's here. Okay, so we need to go over here. Or we need to go over here somewhere. So I'll do this one, and then I'll fly, fly down. So I need to go down here first. Let's go this way. Which way am I going? Straight down. Okay, let's try this. I 
think I need to go over this way somewhere. Yeah, somewhere over here, I think. Looks like there's some um, things I could probably kill. Oh, I reckon it's in here. This looks interesting. The writhing mire. There we go. We've also got a bonus objective. What's the bonus objective? Kill these. And do something with these. Do that. Watch out for that. Just gonna run through all of this. It's gonna spam killing all of these and then looks like we need to head over to that guy got this loads of them over here the taskmaster's done let's go loot him actually just in case we bought something um, oh, we've got to do these barrel things. And what's left? File fangs slain. Where's the file fangs? Somewhere in here. Are oh, these ones that are dead? Oh, there's one over there. Not going to get to it in time. There we go. Oh, we've got good, good 550 rep for that. Oh, there's something over here as well. Let's go have a look. Whilst I'm here. Looks like there's a... Elite mob. Or is it up somewhere? Where is it? It's either in the water under a cave or something. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that unless it's blatantly, obviously in here. No, I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, can I use the flight master's whistle? No, I can't. That's a shame. Right, I need a flight path. I guess go back up to the one I had. Which was up the top. Go do that. Run through here. Ignore these guys. Now that I've done you all. And then I can head back the way I came. Which is kind of up here, round here, and then through there, I think. Yeah, there we go. And we need to fly to the other side to do the other two. I haven't picked up any, any treasures though. Could probably do with doing that as well, because that's part of the achievement, isn't it? We need to do treasures. Um, Where's the flight path? Straight ahead, there it is. Right, okay, so... Map-wise, we need it over here and over here somewhere. So, where can we fly to? It's close. There, it looks like. The thing I like about doing stuff like this, the Draenor stuff, 
or any sort of achievement like this is broken down into lots of small manageable chunks so at least you feel like you're progressing when I was doing that reputation stuff it was just seemed to be creeping along so so slowly and it was almost like when I was doing um, XP back in vanilla it just seemed to move so slowly I guess the trick is not to focus on it Ooh, what have we sold? Uh, binding of haste right so the one of them was to the east I think and this one looks like a straight south so let's go straight south first and then we can go east and then hopefully that's the exploration ticked off I think it's somewhere down here um, looks like there's some um, treasure chest nearby oh we got to do the whole balance on the ropes thing Or is it hidden somewhere? Yeah, that's just going to be annoying. I think it's somewhere down here. Where am I? Oh, it looks like I might have uh, done this area already. Hmm. Most of the treasures and spires require archaeology. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, forlorn Delta. Have we done Forlorn Delta? Oh, this looks interesting. What's this? The Ebon Hunter. A real weird trifid. Well, there we go. So, was that. Ooh, what's up to my map? That's interesting. Is that something to do with Swatter? Um. Yeah, that looks a bit odd. Let's do a reload. Might as well see if we can get that map back. So, where was wrong on my list? Vale Zek was what I was looking for. And the other one was the lost something. Lost Vale Anzu, which looks like it's right on the right hand side. Um, there are all these things that we've could potentially sell. That one there. Region market value of 1,900. Don't know if that's actually going to be a good price or not. Um, right, horse. We need to go. We need to go up here. I wonder if I can get across here, or whether I need to. Yeah, I'll follow the. The coast along, I think. Go along here and then I think it's up here somewhere. Oh, someone's fishing. Hello. Looks like there's a big guy here. 
very big person here. Okay. Got you whilst I was here. Okay. Anyway, carrying on. We needed to go we need to go up a little bit more now, so hopefully we're going to be able to go up. Yeah, we need to go up here somewhere. I wonder if there's anywhere through. Perhaps. This looks like. Oh, might as well pick that up whilst we're here. Uh, we need to go over. Probably just be able to go round actually. Oh, where's my horse gone? There he is. I have to go back round the way I was. That little shortcut wasn't a shortcut. There we go. Right, back on track. Up here looks like there's more of a natural valley. There we go. Lost Vale. There we go. This is where I want. Hey, there we go. Explore Spires of Arak. Okay. So, how else are we doing achievements wise? Um, quests, exploration. Um, we want. We don't want that. We want um, quests. Drain all. No, we don't. We want. Where is it? No, it's all not an explorer. General. Not in general either. Okay. Sorry guys. There we go. So that gave me rep with the Arako and Outcasts. So at least I get rep for killing stuff, which is nice. Okay, um I was looking to see where next in my achievements. I was sure it was in um either exploration or quests. This is all the quests, but I wanted the actual... Um, train of Pathfinder, that's what I was looking for. There we go. So... I'm not really near any of these. Tanan Diplomat apparently is one of the things that's going to be a bit tricky. Three factions in the Tanan jungle. Where is the Tanan jungle? It's up here. Have I ever been here? No. Okay, so I need to go here. That's a thing. Oops. Okay, right, okay. So, in terms of things to do next, let's close that window down. There we go. Ah, hi, um. Is that Pineek? Thanks for stopping by. Didn't catch your street, catch your, um. Catch your text then for a minute because, um, it was hidden by a window. Um, thanks for stopping by the stream. The plan for tonight is, we've done our normal bits and pieces. Um, now we're basically looking at what we can do to get our flying up and running. So that was end content for all of the drainer, like Argus now. Ah, oh, okay. The Tanan Jungle was. So, in terms of quests and things, I've done all the quests for Spies of Arak. 
I've done all the quests and explored all of here. Um, I think I've explored all of Shadow Moon Valley. I don't think there's anything missing. Um, I can buy some medallions and get extra rep. Yes, that's a good point. And make flying in Draenor much faster. That's a good point. You just reminded me. I do have some medallions I picked up from uh, myself. So they wouldn't even cost me anything. Hmm. No, no worries at all. Um, I'm wondering whether it might be worth doing... No, I was going to... That's what I was going to do. I'm going to get my trading post up to level 3 first. Um, I think I might half back, actually. Um, Garrison Hearthstone. And then we can fly from there. Yes, so I need to get my trading post up to level 3, which means I need to get one of my reputations up to Exalted. And then I can use the medallions I've got. Um, I want the trading post for the extra reputation I get from having it at level 3. I get an extra, I think it's either 10 or 20% to reputation. Um, where does it say... I go here, trading post, level two. Sure it was level. I thought I had level two already. Yes, um, level three upgrade um, increases reputation gain in Draenor by 20%. That's it. And I'm currently level two, so that's what I want. But I can't get the plan for that until I've got one of the reputations at Exalted. So I need to get one of them to Exalted. And then the rest I can do with that. Um, so thinking now in terms of where, what I have done. I've done the storyline for Shadow Moon Valley. Have I explored all of Shadow Moon Valley? That's the question. Um, exploration, Draenor, yes, I've done Shadow Moon Valley. So next was also in the Law Master. I've done the Shadow Moon Valley one. I've done the Gorgon one. I need to do. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Complete the Talador storylines. Um, and Talador, that's the bit. That's, oh, that's in this one, isn't it? Yes, I've done half of this. So I need to do more of this. So I had the Burning Sky quest. I've got a Spies of Arak. Where is that dungeon? Might be worth doing something like that dungeon for for giggles. Where is it? Spies of Arak, Sky Reach. Um, okay, what's that? Rook. Rookmar. Apparently. Where would I find the dungeon for Spies of Arak? Upper left of zone. Okay, thank you. Somewhere over here, I'm guessing. This bit, perhaps? It doesn't actually tell me the name of the dungeon. Axeful. Okay, fantastic, thank you. 
So X fall is here. Okay, X fall on my map. Wonder if it's worth doing that for a it's just north of there. Because that would give me give me extra rep for Spires of Arak doing this quest. Um, also, then there's the other quest line I've got here in Gorgrind to Finn, not Gorgrind, um, Talador to finish this off. I need to pick up whichever one it was. Someone named Skyrich. Oh, okay, brilliant. Thank you. Um, the instance. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right, okay. What to do next, though? That's the question. Something I feel like I can at least achieve something on. In terms of questing and exploring, I do need to do this area. So I'm thinking maybe follow follow where I wherever it was I left off. Which I'm thinking is probably here. So let's go have a look. You have a nice monkey island shirt. <laughs> well spotted, thank you very much. That's uh you passed the test of uh of, of old school gaming, <laughs> pointy you name. Know. You gain it. I need a new PC for the next expansion. Yes, I definitely will. Um, let's hope I can scrabble up some. Well, the main thing I want to do is get a get an, another graphics card. So that's what I'm saving up for at the moment. Right. So I'm thinking. Which one shall I do for Talador? I think this one's the closest. I'll take it from there. Get the 1080 Ti. That's a great idea, but I don't have the money for that. Um, and it will be so overpowered for my um, for my setup. I'd need a new power supply at least to. Um, to increase that um, any better so uh, yeah it, it would be a bit overkill right okay so are there any quests I can pick up nearby or shall I head over to where that one was I think I'll head over to where that one was there we go you have the 1060 that's a super card for that money. Okay, 1060 and 1070 are fairly priced. Yeah, I'm going. I'm thinking um, 1050 Ti. So I'm going a bit cheaper. Um, about 150 pounds that would cost me. Pilgrim's Road. Have I not done this area before? Okay. Yes, but get MSI. Okay, do you find MSI a more reliable brand then? I've had various different brands. Really nice cooling. Okay, that's good to know. My current graphics card is an MSI. Um, but it actually doesn't have any fans on it. It's a passively cooled one. That just goes to show how uh, interesting it is, shall we say. Right, looks like there's a quest over here somewhere I'm looking for. Oh, thank you, Shin, for the host. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good stream yourself. Welcome, everybody, who's joined me from Shin's stream. We are currently just wandering around Warlords of Draenor. Um, ooh, nearly fell off the waterfall. Going for our flying achievement. 
So currently at the moment we are just having a little stroll trying to explore the area. Oh, and failing. There we go, up there, up there, then up here. There we go. Okay, where do we need to go? Where's this quest? Oh, there it is on the floor. Um, okay. This hefty tome, shaping drain is natural. Honed. Uh, test the effects of a honed crystal, a polished crystal, and a harmonic crystal. Okay, I'll do those. I need to do that. And we need to do that. Uh, and hope you're lucky that you don't get one with coil wine. That's interesting. I've not heard of coil wine before. Let's assume that's something to do with... Um, oops, wrong button. I'm playing on EU. So we need to do you, to accept that. Can't remember what I needed to do, but I guess it means go in here and take this person out. Anything else we need whilst we're in here? I don't see anything. Let's head back outside. What price is the token now? Oh god, I don't know. It's probably 350 I think at the moment for EU, I'm not sure. It's expensive. Um, examine the ancient prism. Okay. There we go. At least we got some more. I was thinking more US. Ah, okay. Yes, EU is over 300. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, It's expensive. That's for sure. Right, I think I picked up a quest trail. I don't know if it's one that's relevant to the quest storyline, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Yeah, that's definitely pricey. I've got another four months left on my game time, so I've got I've got time. Hmm, it looks like there's been a bit of a massacre here. What do I need to do here? Ancient prism examined. Which is the ancient prism? Are you there? Yes, yeah, must be this one. Did that work? I don't think that was it. Hmm. Okay, let's read the text. Um, examine the ancient prison in the mine. Okay, we need to go in the mine. Okay, that makes sense. Thinking the token price will probably... I don't think it's going to go down a lot, lot. I think it's basically more likely to go up more than down now because it spiked when Battle for Azeroth was announced for the pre-order. And I think it's going to, uh, I think it's only going to get more and more expensive. Right, where's this ancient prism? Well, it's right at the bottom. I bet you you're right down there. Let's jump down. Where is it? No, maybe not. Um, that's good. That's the moment for buying. Buying, yes. I think I what I need to do is have a look at how much I've got. I want to keep enough reserves, though. That's the main thing. Okay, I think I probably made a mistake jumping down here because I don't think I can get out as easily. Maybe I can get back up here. Yeah, I need to go back up. 
I think. There we go. Let's get out of this pit. And then we can go around. Time to spend some gold. Yes, you had a gift card, which you exchanged for a battlenet card, and sold it to get 396. Wow. Okay, which way round do I need to go? I'm going to get across that side. It looks like I might have to go around this way. Bit of a confusing layout. Can I go down here, or is that just going to drop me down? Can I walk along here? Let's go this way. This looks like a better way. Figure out what would happen around BFA release as well. Yes, I think so. There we go, need to go this way. Yeah, the price the token prices are only gonna go up and up. So this is what they were after. Thank you for clearing the way. Okay. Uh I'll ask my help again. Okay. That's quite enough of this illusion, I think. Oh. Ah, Whoops. Destroy that wretched prison. We um. Whoops. Yes, I am from England. Um, I'm from the south of England. You and I are going to have a chat. Hmm. Forgive my deception. I had to appeal to your sympathy in order to play you against Kyrex. I have expected him to vaporize you, but you dispatched him quite handily. An impressive display. Okay. So it was your decision to enter the mine that truly piqued my interest. Your desire to reveal the truth behind the attack. Fearlessly delving into the unknown. You just sold Enchant Weapon Crusader for 990. Excellent. Did you buy have to buy the um the recipe uh, pointy gnome? I think I've been selling mine for about the same sort of price, just under a thousand. Haven't been selling them that many though. Um Elemental Force has been selling way better. Oh, some other pretty tip. Right, okay, so we need to help them evacuate. Okay, we can do that. We need to pick up this flight path, which is going to be handy. Uh, need to speak to you. Uh, recover shadow tones. Okay. And you say. Slay Wingard. Okay. Is that everything in this area? Looks like it. We need to head over to this area now then. Okay. Uh, you farmed the formula for like 30 minutes. And the formula sells for like 8k. Yes. Um, I think last time I looked on Under My Journal it was selling for 10k um, on this server. I bought it myself for 10k. So I'm not actually in profit yet. I still need to do a few more sales to get a profit out of it. Okay, so Talador. Do all this lot. Whilst we're here. Might as well run through the quest. What do we need to do here? Rescue people, I think. Uh, outcast evacuated collecting tomes okay that makes sense uh, speak to you pick up the books basically pick up the books speak to you um, heliums get nerfed and lots of old enchants and rings are back selling yes the old ones are selling again uh, thankfully due to everyone leveling 
So it is definitely useful. Um, who do I need? There's a book. Need a book. I uh, need to find some outcasts hanging around. Look for the buildings, I guess. Did some there already. Oh, there's one over here. Can do you. Then I can speak to you, release you, and do a book at the same time. And then there's some over here. Pick up your whole book. Speak to you. Loot that. Do those guys. Right. There's a book over there. Pick that up. Right, done the tomes. Um, where's another person hanging around? How many have I got to do? I've got another, another load to do. And the wing guard to do. Okay, let's head over this way, see if we can find some more people. Um, anyone around? There's supposed to be another four of them somewhere. There we go, there's some here. Two of them, do you and you. And I can do you, that's you. For a giant weapon crusader, the mats in total is like 50 gold. Yes, um, I can't remember what my my price on them was. Let's have a look at my... Where's my list? If I go to... Go to my list. Where is it? Um, gold making. I bring this over and I have a look at my where was the Crusader enchant? It was down here. Now the main price was on the large brilliant shards, which at the time of my research had the price at 65 gold, and they are way less than that now. They're more like 10 gold. And the righteous orbs. I think I've gotten for less than the 26. Um, so yeah, they're not not that expensive, definitely. Yeah, large brilliant shards are five to nine gold. Yeah, they're really cheap now, by comparison to what they what they used to be. Getting hold of the righteous orbs is a bit trickier, it seems. Right, where's the last? Where's the last one of these people hanging around? These outcasts we need to rescue. They're going to be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there you are. There you go, you're rescued. Okay. So we need to... What's over here? Let's go and bright swords, sometimes you can get from Strathon fairly easy. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, um, Pineek, thank you very much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day. Ah, hi, hi Snuggle. Currently you don't have game time and like 3k gold. Is there any way you can get 250 from that? Um, now that's an interesting one. Not quickly. If you, if you have no game time, have you actually run out of game time? In which case you'll have to buy. The only way is to basically buy what you need. 
just from leveling. Yep, that's that's a way. Oh, what if I can go through here? Is this a place for me? Oh yeah, there you are. Do you? Any treasures here? Anything interesting? No. Okay. Pick flowers. <laughs> yes, I think your I think your options are to um, basically what do you enjoy? What do you um, what do you like doing in the game? And give yourself more time to actually build up more gold and don't spend it. That's the other thing that people forget is they can't go buying mounts and lots of equipment. They have to not spend. It's not just about how much money you make, it's also about how much money you save. All right, we need to hand something in here to someone down here, I reckon. Where are you for the hand in? Should be around here. Oh, you're on the bridge. And I missed you. No. You're definitely over there somewhere. Forum's notes. This hefty tomes contains the most recent pages. Test the effects of the honed crystal and polished crystal. Yeah, we did that. Including several full page technical diagrams. Yep. So, where do we hand it in? Somewhere over here, it would look like. Can't see anything here. Okay, anything in our backpack that we need to do? Burns notes. Can't look at them. Hmm, interesting. To the internet we go, Barham's Notes. Barham's Notes Quest. Oh, this, I've gone onto Wellhead, I hope this doesn't kill Mr. Potato. Um, completion. Progress. Okay. That's an interesting one. <laughs> oh, hey Ignis. Thanks for uh thanks for stopping by. Oh, and hi Gold Queen. Thanks for stopping by both of you. We're currently uh just wandering around Draenor, trying to work out why I can't hand in this quest that's supposed to be here and I can't see anything and other than that we need to do some more quests to finish off our Draenor flying, well not finish it off, to carry on with our Draenor flying um, so we're doing well, thank you Gold Queen we're uh We've got Ignis and Sephorium in the chat somewhere, plus a few others. I'm going to hand, hand in these other ones first. And then get back to that Barham's notes, because something's definitely a bit odd with that. For some reason, I can't hand that in. Did the test effects. Um, you 
tweeted a pic of how it looks in your sitting room. Excellent. So you're you're doing your phone and TV combo. That sounds cool. So you're like casting from your phone to your TV. Ooh, what should we pick? Um, let's go with this one. 468, same disenchant value. There we go. And what have we got here? Shadow Tome. Leave some gold for that. And this one. If Sephorum is here, we're okay. A quota of clever people is met. Yes, I don't include myself in that one. Ooh, there we go. The plight of the Arakoa done. Okay, excellent. So where's the next breadcrumb quest? I reckon it must be over there somewhere, but I want to do this one. Barham's notes turn in. Bless. Right. Okay, Barham's notes. Let's let's look this up. Barham's notes. Test the effects. We did that. Barham's notes provided. Yeah, we did that. And comments. Video guys, accept the quest. Uh, burning Sky, Barham's Notes, click the items, we did that. Yep, yeah, but then what? It just says ready for turn in. And the turn in is there. Hmm. You have an enchanting question. Okay, it's only a question because you're lazy. Tier 2 enchanting, do you remember where, how, um, if you recall, tier 1 is questing, 2 is dungeons, 3 is raids? Um, kind of. Not all tier 3s are raids, some are drops. Um, I know the Vault of the Wardens one was um, the tier 2... Um, yes, yeah, some of those were rep, weren't they? Uh, oh, thanks to Bad Dory. Hey. Um, yeah, there was definitely, um, I can't remember where they were. Whoops, appears to be being attacked by a frog. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, I think I did have to get reputation for some of those dream weavers. Um, you have tier three patterns in your bags on a very low use alt and how can I be royalty if you don't have everything maxed <laughs> yeah I don't have everything maxed and it's a tough one um, especially those emerald nightmare ones I haven't done those yet uh, yes it, it should tell you um, how to get each one what's that it's interesting anyway getting distracted um, what I need get this Barham's notes handed in but I'm missing something all your bank alts are 110 with professions which is excellent I don't remember doing a fishing one though bad worry I don't think I had because I, I haven't got fishing so I didn't have to do that for my not for enchanting anyway okay So one would expect an NPC to be here somewhere, but there isn't. So I might have to leave that one for now. Which of these ones? Let's get to work. Okay, we don't want those. We want to carry on with our Talador quest line. Baron's notes, the only one I've currently got. 
Maybe we need to... Oh, there's one here. Burning Sky. Maybe we need to do these. Let's go up and do those. I think we can then... Um, Ooh, what have we got here? Do we need to help out? Young Prowlers Claimed. Hmm. Come here, Young Prowler. Call it Alt Matrix, you see. Instead of Alts feeding one bank character, they feed each other. That sounds good, actually. I, I, don't, I don't really have bank alts, because my Samadan is my alt and everything. And it's only Earth and my Demon Hunter that does the other stuff. Come on. Here we go. Five, another two. And I need to kill this guy. It will disappear. And one last one. Oh, it needs to be on Mr. Horse for this. Is that everything? Yes. Okay, excellent. Right, we need to go north somewhere. Um, have you tried selling Enchant Weapon Crusader or Fiery? I haven't got the Fiery one. That could be interesting. <laughs> Thundercats, ho! Which was your favourite Thundercat, Gold Queen? I must admit, I think Ch Chitara was my favourite, definitely. Of course. <laughs> Well, I did think Panthro was quite cool. Right, what have we got? Burning Sky and Peace of Us. Maybe we need to do these before we can do the other ones. Let's help out with these. Oh, those stuff's just expired. Might have to... Oh, thank you, Spatey, for the host. Extremely kind of you. Oh, and we sold something amongst that. Train Soldier. Right, what do we need to do? Ancients. Something. Need. Dang. Oh, our bear tartars run out. Let's, let's eat some more bear tartar. Uh, there we go. Because that was really useful. Um, well. A skeleton with balloons. <laughs> right, is that done? Well fed, yes. That's better. Right, what else do I need to do here? I need to run round, uh, do these wing guards. Do you, do you. Oops, click the wrong thing. There we go. And then, where are you around this side? Okay, that's fine. Do that. Another couple more. Let's get my horse. They're too far away at the moment. Let's do these ones. So we need to do all these. Done that. And then... What's number one? Okay, let's go head over this. Um, other ones are Crusher. This one was Speed Walking, an icy looking one. Executioner and Mongoose. Yeah, Mongoose hasn't sold that well for me at the moment. Um, I haven't got all of them, basically. I've got Mongoose, I've got Crusader, and... 
Elemental Force is the one that's been really selling for me. Right, this one. Do you, do you. Do you. And then I'm going to head to the next thing, thing that I need. Which is over up here, it would appear. Oh, we're back here, are we? I'm sure we were here before. It's not the same place. You have all but two. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how you actually get them all, so... Uh, I know the um, the mongoose one was quite easy. It's just a question of getting there. Right. Kill these whilst I go. And you must be over here somewhere. Probably in that building. Yeah. Do this. Do that. You're going to have to open Wellhead. <laughs> Can't you do that from your phone there, Gold Queen? Right, okay. So that's done, that's done. Hand in these. Now hopefully that will help with our other one that we couldn't hand in. Right, which direction are we going to go? Let's go through that gap and head south. Once I've done this, I think that will that will be my next bit of progression done for flying. I'm not going to do it all in one go. It's gonna, that'll, that'll take far too long. So I'll do this and then I'll head back to the auction house. Oh, what's this? Hen mother. Oh, I'm sorry, I killed your children as well. I'm very sorry. You got a cloak though. Disenchant value of 20. Right, now let's see. Elemental Force is great for leveling right now. Yes, it's by far been my best seller. Um, here we go. This is the person. Right. Each day is a blessing. Now we've got them, the notes, and that, and the sky, and that. Yeah, brilliant, thank you, and that. Okay. Now that's better. Right, okay. We're done with Draenor for now. We've made some progress in um, Talador. We made some progress in Spies of Arak. We explored here. Um, so we're getting further in our progression, which is nice. So let's head back to the auction house and see where we're at with that. I'm making gold with the epics. I haven't tried those yet because the um, the large brilliant shards have um, have really dropped in price um, for me. I think they're about three gold now. So I'm not sure even purchasing the thing. Well, I can't remember what it was you mentioned in your blog to purchase. Um, so I'm not sure I'm actually going to make much of a profit with those. Right, I bet I've got a load of junk. Yep. Okay. Um, I couldn't do that one. So I'm just going to do these by hand. Because it's so easy. That's that. Um, not sure what to do with this armor or not. I think anything under a hundred I'm going to disenchant. You're my enchanting when I checked you for enchanting inspiration. <laughs> yes. Well, the the enchanting inspiration for me is the Legion stuff at the moment. It's still doing well. Let's go have a look. Um, what's been selling recently? Actually, I'll check the mail. That sums probably come through. I oh, had all those expires. Right, let's pick those up. Fill up my bags. Uh, sales wise we're doing all right 
missed that. Exu bag, intellect, critical strike, trained soldier, hidden satyr. Good mix of them. None of the old world ones there though. Um, going to twink enchants. Uh, do not work for battlegrounds, but do work in world PvP. Ah, oh, okay. I've not got a clue what um, the PvP or battlegrounds. I haven't done that in a long time. Certainly don't do twinking myself. Right, what have we got? Train Soldier and Haste of Sold as well. And we've got some about to expire. So let's take the short ones and cancel all of those. And then we'll put those back on. There we go, right. And pick up the expires. No, the cancels rather. So that's 37,000. So we'll take them. That takes me back up to 665 and 57. Nearly 666,000 gold. And. I put them back on? No, I haven't. There we go, we need to post those back on. Auctioning, post scan. Check the auction house for um, epics, but ultimately at least 2k. Okay. That's pretty pricey. Right. Da -da -da -da. done with those and okay so what are we missing now okay, we're going to look at these deciding whether to disenchant any of these I think anything region wise that one's spoulders of the aurora that one seems quite good No, I think I think basically passing on any tips are pretty handy, uh, Gold Queen. I, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's not going to work on everyone's realm. That's for sure. I mean, my enchants work on my realm, and they're not going to work on others. But I think it's always always good to share ideas, and then it's up to someone else to check their own realm for prices. Um, I'm going to disenchant some of this. I think I'm going to do that definitely, and. Region markets 500. Uh, medallion I can get rid of. Is that soul bound? Is that soul bound? No. Um, that I think I'll get rid of. And that one. And that one doesn't seem worth it. Keep a mantle. Get rid of that. These, I don't know whether these are actually going to be worth, what does it look like? Is it that? Oh, those are just feet. I'm not going to bother with feet. No one needs feet. Although that is 649. That one I'll disenchant though. Plate feet. There we go. Try putting yours up for twice then and whispering them, hey, let's make a monopoly. <laughs> Not in game, yeah, no, anything's anything's game in game. Um oh, binding intellects just sold. Um Girdle. I don't want a girdle for though. Right, I'm going to just take a punt at putting these three on. 
and the bow. Let's do the bow as well. Right, so looking at that, I'm going to make the group for Old World Drops Region Average. And we're going to add in the spolders, the bow, the girdle, and the sandals and see if they get any luck. Well, what was that? Um, relic. Blue one. Was that on it? Let's have a look at that in my groups again. Hold on. Hold the phone. I'm all relic. Um, oh, that's Blizzard account. Um, that's no good. Right, okay. Uh, post scan. So what's that going for? Normal price and normal price five eight four two one and five three five. Okay, let's just see if those sell. They may or may not. Transmog doesn't sell particularly well on this server, so uh, it's a bit of a punt. But I might as well try it with some of them. Um, where were we at? We did have a sale, didn't we? So let's just check our enchants. Probably need to restock on some of these. Let's bring up our enchanting window. Right, uh, groups and enchants, major sellers, restock. Yeah, quite a lot here. Train Soldier, Agility, Mastery, Haste, and Critical Strike. Okay, let's get all of these made. And then we can check some shopping, see if anything's come up for cheaps. As people have finished their raiding, or whatever they do, of an evening. But good, get some more enchants on, definitely. How are we doing for Chaos Crystals now with that? 1,500, still got plenty. Okay, auctioning, post scan. Okay, let's get those on. Post all 13. There we go. Elemental Force sells for 249 on your realm. Wow. Don't know if I've got any on at the moment. Elemental Force, yes. <laughs> Currently going for 16,000, which seems rather excessive. Why is that going for 16,000? That's not going to sell. Hold on, what's happened there? Normally for 700. Elemental force. Enchant weapon elemental force. 1000. And 98. There we go, that's better. Was I looking at the wrong thing when I searched for it before? Elemental force. My auctions. Elemental force. Bid buyout. Has, has TSM added them all up or something? Why is it saying 16,000? Or have I got one stack of 15 on? Hold, hold the fort. Yes, I have. I've got one of 15 on. That's no good. Why have I got one of 16 on? One of 15 on? That's a problem. Right, let's get that off. That's why it hasn't been selling. No one's going to buy 15 of them. I can't cancel it either. Okay. Let's go to WoW regular UI. 
I don't want to buy it. I want to look at my auctions. And uh, where am I going to find it? I'll be in there by price, won't it? Look for the ridiculously priced one. There we go. <laughs> um, that happened to you now just as well. Okay, you posted four Crusaders as a stack. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I'm sure my operation was in single stacks. I don't know why I've got those on for 15,000 either. I must have inflated that. That should be region market. That should be cancelled. Okay. Let's get rid of the silly ones. Um, elemental force. Elixir of demon slaying for 14,000. That's wrong as well. Take that off. Some of these I think I've inflated beyond crazy prices. Right. Elemental force. Cancel that. Right, okay. So now, let's have a look at our groups and fix, let's, let's pick them up first. So we've got her in our bags. Okay, we need to fix this. Those four are definitely wrong. They should be more region value to stop them going crazy. An elemental force should have its own Let's start with that. Okay. Um, elemental force has its own group. Group operations. Okay, the auctioning was 48 DD region. Okay. And that auction operation was posting. Okay, that was doing them in stacks of 200. Stack size to 20. I don't know why it was that. I think we should really have this. This is for single items. I think this operation is set up a bit skewy. Right, set post cap. So we've got 15 and one. Stack size to one. Fifteen. And we're going to change this to single x fifteen. There we go. There we go. You had this as well. You had sell shirts auctioning and it disappeared and went to default. Ah, whoops. You play stuff with prices like nineteen nine 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 instead of twenty. The real life psychology thing. Yes, it, I think it does help. Um, it depends whether people are actually sort of. Uh, because the price is people undercut by one copper each time, it just doesn't always work like that. So partial stacks we don't need. Um, and these percentages are fairly wacky. 40% is a bit low, so let's try 60%. And 300% is massive. Okay, let's try that. And what was in that group? Okay. Favourite is 4720 instead of 50. Only on my realm, undercutting by one copper is actually undercutting by one gold. Okay. Right, so if I were to post these up now, let's take the food out actually, because that's skewing things from post scan. Right, elemental force. Okay, 
elixir of demon slang. That's 48 hour region single, and this is on general misc single. Jade fire pants of spirit. Okay, so that needs to come out of that general misc single. Okay, so groups. These, these are old groups that I don't really use for main stuff. So eventually I need to get rid of these. Um, where is it? Volatiles. Old world. And then... There we go, single cell misc. What was it? It was jade fire pants, those. I'm gonna remove those. And we're gonna put those in old world region. And add them in there. That'd be better. Uh, that's how post of prolonged power went for average from 19 to 21 to like 16 to 18. Uh, okay. Realm I'm on Shadow Song on the EU, which is a pretty low pop realm um, by all comparison. Right, so now if someone happens to be running Sniper, which is unlikely, why is the Elixir of Demon Slaying so pricey? Undercutting the competition at that. 7,000. Okay, well, I'm going to put them on singly. So, Jade Fire Pants, post that. Uh, two of one. And now 15 of one. There we go. Let's get Elemental Force back on. Whoops. You're on Silver Moon. Excellent. Right, okay. Elemental Force is back in the game now. We do shopping, elemental force. I'm the only one. 733, 15 auctions of one. Okay. Let's see if that does something. If anyone buys it. You'd probably put the price up a little bit on that. But let's leave it at that and see what happens. Um, also, whilst we're here, I think we'll probably end up finishing up soon, I think. It's getting quite late. Just going to check on Chaos Crystal prices. They haven't changed. Still got 1,500, so as these are just above my buy price, I need to leave those. Check on the leather. That's been going cheap. Well, yeah, there we go. Three of twenty at four ninety-seven. Oh, and one of one hundred eighty-eight. Definitely take these and the one hundred eighty-eight. And I'll leave the five ninety-nine. And let's check shoulder eye silk. Um, you used to own Silver Moon, then you let uh, Morake take it because you went to role play, and now you don't know who's the big boss. Okay. As long as you've got amount of creases, you don't really mind. When I say used to, this was years ago. Breath of the Loop, Slith King, Kata. Uh, oh, look, some silks cheap, though. That's good. Interesting, almost the exact of uh, the leather. So I'll be buying that as well. When you started playing Goblin, uh, but had some sight success, you bought Alarma Bot level 25. Sold it a day later, 14k, brilliant. Ignore competitors, help buyers. Yeah, I think you find you find your own groove, definitely. Um, I'm gonna take. Which shall I take? I could take the two at five and the one eight at five. I'm gonna take the twenty-one. I'm gonna leave the three. There we go. Excellent. So, all in all, pretty good evening, I'd say. Pick up that. 
There we go. I'm done. Right, I think I'll probably wrap up the stream there. Been on for a little while. My legs are starting to get a bit tired now. And I could probably do with a sleep. So, thank you everyone for stopping by and chatting. Your company has been most appreciated tonight. Thank you for the sub, which is awesome. Um, let's have a look, see if there's anyone we can host. I can't see anyone on my list. 24 hour stream. <laughs> No problem here, uh, GeoHub. Um, the bag add-on is called Addy Bags. I'll type that in the chat. Um, Addy Bags. There we go. Um, really handy. Um, I'd recommend it. Um, yes, I'm not not going to do a 24-hour stream, Safari. <laughs> I'm too old for that. Do I have five minutes for DM? Yes, I can hang around for a little bit, uh, Gold Queen. If you want to ping me a question. Um, but thank you everyone for a lovely, lovely stream tonight. And 24 minute stream, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and then if you're watching this on YouTube when I've posted it, please make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. It would be really appreciated. Um, and then till next time I shall see you all not sure when the next schedule is um, I think Monday is probably probably most likely oh with skits on I didn't spot skits on let's have a look oh yes I see he's on yeah I'll, I'll, ha I'll put a, um, a host over to skits I'll give you fair warning now way way more upbeat than I am so uh, I'll post the host over but other than that good night and farewell All right, let's type this in host there we go have a great evening everyone rest of your evening and I'll see you next time